Hello, and in this training video, we're going to show you how to complete and sign a form or petition using Adobe Reader. Uh, so when you go to the Forms and Documents page, you're going to go ahead and click on the form you wish to complete. Uh, keep in mind, you do not want to complete the form within the browser. You actually want to open up in Acrobat, so you can either download it by clicking on this uh, download button onto your computer and then open it, or you can click on this open in Acrobat. Uh, Firefox should have a similar uh, button for you. Uh, so once you open up the PDF in Adobe Reader, uh, you want to go ahead and fill in the form. I'm not going to fill in the entire form just for demonstration purposes, but you do want to make sure that you follow all the directions on the form and complete all the required fields or the form may be sent back to you. Uh, once you are comp uh, done with the form, you're going to go ahead and date it. Now what you want to do at this point is you're going to go ahead and sign the form. Uh, if you have not already set up your signature, I'm going to walk you through how to set that up. Uh, so on the top here in the toolbar, you'll see a bunch of buttons. One of them should look like a pen. You want to go ahead and click on that. And it's going to open up a sub menu that allows you to either add a signature or add an initial. We're going to go ahead and add a signature here. When you click on that, you'll see this little dialog box pops up and you could either type in your name. Uh, we kind of prefer that to use the draw since it's, that's more of an uh, authentic signature. Uh, you could either use your mouse or you can use um, your stylus or if you're on your phone, you can use your, uh, is a touch sensitive as well. Or if you want to sign a piece of paper and then upload that image, you can do so as well. Uh, that is an option for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on apply. And as you can see now, uh, the signature is available for me to place on the form. So I'm going to go ahead and click. Uh, if you you can resize the signature if you need to, or if you made a mistake, you can go ahead and delete it and try again. Uh, one thing to keep in mind, though, is that once you hit the Save button here and save the PDF, it locks the form from any edit, other edits. So if you need to make any changes after you sign and save it, you're going to have to download the form again. So if I click on Save, it's going to ask me to save it into a new file. So I'm going to go ahead and save this onto my computer. And as you can see now, the form is locked from any more edits, but now the form is ready for you to submit online through our student support portal. Uh, that's about it. So that's how you go ahead and create your digital signature. So any future forms or petitions you fill out, you don't have to go through this step again. You would just click on sign, click your signature again, and then you could go ahead and click it onto the form. Thank you so much.